suckle. That. <laughs> Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator. And welcome to Jump Jet Rex. It's a game where you're a T-Rex with jet boots. If that sounds awesome to you, it is. <laughs> this is my dude at the moment. You get a little hoppy thing. Um, but then you can also, like, get a super levitate going. Boop. Come back down, Rex. And then there's a dash move, as well as a, a butt slam that can get you out of the dash move and help you drop down a little faster. Millions of years ago, dinosaurs invented space travel. And then they summoned the meteor to destroy Earth. A Tyrannosaurus named Rex was the first dino not. This is his story. Oh, shit, look at me over dino, son. Oosh. So this is a game by Tree Fortress, who actually uh, are in a rivalship with the Keebler Elves. So, but I'm fucking, I'm Tree Fortress for life, son. Keeblers can suck it. So let's go out to the galaxy. You gotta hit these switches sometimes. And those will help you uh, open doors and whatnot. And there's a collectible, which will be shipped to Rex's room. Directly below me. So, lots of unlockables and lots of stuff. It's usually cosmetic, but the gameplay's fun enough that that doesn't really matter too much. Let's go, Rex! So, uh, there's my base. We're gonna go to boot camp. But you basically want to complete it as fast as possible. Boosh, 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 boosh! There's my best. My best is beating me! Butt drop! Oh! I'm too fast. All right. Fart! Did I get it? Yay! 16 seconds. That's pretty good. The fate of Dino Card is in your hands. Well, don't, don't you worry about me, Senator. Wow, look at all these levels. Holy shit! That's the map! Holy shit! <laughs> and it's relatively difficult. Uh, they will test you in this game. Oh, will they test you. They want you to be your best. I'll do it for you, little Rex. Oop. Up and down. And up again. Yeah! Okay. I beat my, uh, dead self there. Which is super. Boosh! 18 seconds. Personal best. Yeah, I'm in the groove for this thing today. Mm-hmm. Three stars, three stars, three stars. Fresh meat. No, you! Oh, butt slam. Rocket. Butt slam. More. More. In and out. In and out. Bit of the old in out, in out. Oh, fart. We're losing it. Gents. Gents, we're losing it. Oh, I only got one star. Fart. Eventually, you'll be able to go to the shop and buy lots and lots of cool stuff. Look at this shit right here. You could be a raptor or a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or a gentlemanly dinosaur if you get enough stuff. And then you can unlock some new colors for your trails. All over here, too. There's two walls of boots. And then, what are these things? I don't know. I think they might be the little thing that shoots out of your butt. Look, he looks like he's pooping so hard. Uh, let's let's be the gangster dinosaur, I suppose. We'll make him uh pink because Panky Pank and his jets are already pink, so that'll be cool. I think he'll like that. Some red shoes. Is it red or pink or mauve? Tree Fortress Games, bitch! Fuck them Keebler Elf sons! Like, what do you want? A video game that's gonna last you forever or a cookie you're gonna enjoy for like three minutes? Three minutes? That's a fucking... Either a really slow eater or a really large cookie. I cannot say which at this time. Uh-oh. Boosh. Boosh. You can break yourself out of the jet by like jumping or something like that. But it's a lot easier said than done. <laughs> oh, Yeti White! Like Betty White? Get it? Get it? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. 
gigantic bosses capable of much doom. Okay, what do I do? Oh no! It's fine. Give me another, uh... Oh, okay. Just gotta hit him with my, my boot rockets. It's a fire for you, son! Aww. Try it again! Yeah, T-White! Uh-oh. Oh, just get all the way to this side of the screen. Boop. Boop. Oh, you do gotta go out there to hit him. I fart! I fart in your general direction! Your mother was a hamster, and your father smelled of elderberries! Oh, that's a, that's a new thing. <laughs> Come on, Yeti Watt! I'm gonna do this fucking thing. Uh-oh. Yep. I know your tricks now. You can't fool me no more. I ain't going down the basement ever again. One, two, three, four! Dude, that's so foul. It lets me keep the same life bar because I continuously... Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I am continuously uh, losing my best time, best possible time, as I continue to fight it. So I think that's a pretty interesting way, like, if you're not good at fighting a boss, or it's your first time seeing it, you can just kind of cheese your way through, and then once you know all of the tactics and strategy of the boss, you can actually come back and attempt the speedrun, which increases the replayability considerably! And I really do like the, the graphics as well. I think it's a really cool art style. I will say that the the music seems kind of like uh, not the best quality chip tunes that I've ever heard. You know, it's no Anamanaguchi, but for what it is, it's extremely good. Ooh, suckle. So cool. yeah. So, friends, this has been Jump Jet Rex. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. For the score breakdown, I have given the controls. A 10 out of 10. There is a uh, propulsion up, propulsion to the sides, propulsion downwards, as well as a little bumpy jump, which works just fine. And it's exactly what it needs to be. So 10 out of 10 for the speed running, for the controls, for the lovely little jump jet wrecks. For the fun factor, I've given it a 7 out of 10. It does get a little monotonous in places, especially if you're trying to complete a certain part over and over and over again. Um, but it, again, it's it's exactly what it needs to be, and uh, you know what you're what you're getting when you start it up. The difficulty I've given a ten out of ten. It's extremely hard to unlock all the stages. Um, the the goals that are set sometimes are just kind of ridiculous, insurmountable to me at least. Replayability, I've given it an eight out of ten. It is extremely replayable, extremely fun. Uh, who doesn't want to be a uh, teenage Mutant Ninja Dinosaur <laughs> jumping through space with rocket boots. So, even though most of the unlockables are cosmetic aside from the levels, it's uh, extremely replayable, and there is a global high scoreboard, which allows you to compete with anyone on Steam who owns this game, so you can truly prove your dominance. <clears throat> the innovation of Ginman, uh 6 out of 10, it does stick a lot with uh, bread and butter platforming and speedrunning games, although the fact that you don't have to touch the ground at any point is extremely interesting to me. I do like it, uh, but I don't believe it innovates too much. Uh, it definitely does have a little bit of innovation, though. The graphics, I've given a 7 out of 10. I do rather like them. Um, low res, if that's something that bothers you, but... I, I really like the rest, retro aesthetic and especially the colors that they decided to use. The palette's very varied and uh, as are the levels, which makes it makes you want to push onward and, and see what's next. The music I've given a 6 out of 10. It's a little dissonant at times, uh, kind of low quality chiptoonish, but uh, I do like it for what it is. 
it does drop out in some of the menus. Like, this start menu just basically gives you a couple seconds, which is fine, I suppose. But I would, I would like to see uh, a little bit more put into the music. The sound effects, I've given a 5 out of 10. And you may have noticed from me just jumping around on the screen that the sound effects can get extremely repetitive. And this is a problem that I run into often with speedrunning games, which is unfortunate because I do really like speedrunning games. Uh, but it's hard to keep the sounds extremely varied, especially when you're using the same skill over and over and over and over. <laughs> the story, I'm given a 4 out of 10. You're a dinosaur trying to save other dinosaurs from a meteor. That's uh, truly how it happened, folks. So I'll give it a 4 out of 10. For the historical aspect or something like that. It's it's not a bad story. It just... It it seems kind of generic to me. This, the level design I've given a 7 out of 10. I think the levels are pretty innovative. Uh, there are some parts where you can't touch the ground. The boss battles are pretty epic in scale. And I really do enjoy what uh, Jump Jet Rex has to offer overall. So, final score. 69... Out of 100, thank you so much to Tree Fortress Games for letting us try out this little treat. And uh, you definitely beat the crap out of those Keebler kids. Let me tell you what. Once again, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I hope that you will join us for whatever we decide to do next. And until the next time, friends. Bye-bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.